Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we are gonna break down the new line of Revit dirt gear, all of which is available at Revzilla.com. Revit has been a leader in the adventure world for gear for quite a long time, but they've never really dipped their toe into the off-road, pure off-road world before until now. So new for 2021, Revit is introducing a full line of dirt and enduro gear. And what we're gonna do in this video is just highlight a few pieces. We're not gonna take the time to show you every single little piece that have come out, but we are gonna focus on a few key individual items from this line. Now. Pabin Q, my model on the left-hand side, stands at six feet tall, has a 44-inch chest, and he weighs 220 pounds. I know that because I made him step on a scale before shooting this video because he's been eating a lot of donuts lately, and frankly, I didn't trust him. But it's true, 220 pounds for this guy on my left. Now, we're going to start off by talking about the Element Jacket. The Element Jacket is coming in around the $480 price point. This is gonna have waterproof baked in. This is the three layer Hydrotex proprietary waterproof protection that uh, Revit has introduced in this particular jacket. Two main materials here. You're gonna have a, uh, a Cordura 750D ripstop at your shoulders and your elbows. And then you're gonna have a PowerShell stretch ripstop, which is PowerShell is Revit's proprietary design throughout. So that's gonna incorporate a little bit of stretch and then you're getting your beefed up Cordura in your impact zones all the way down the shoulder and then down the entire outer sleeve on this, really giving you abrasion resistance as you're blowing through sticks and underbrush and things that might snag on the jacket. And again, for those of you that aren't familiar, rip stop, if there is a snag, it stops it from spreading. So just because you have one tear in the jacket doesn't mean you have to get rid of the jacket, it actually stops that tear right there so you can keep riding and keep enjoying your garment. Now, this is really gonna be aimed at dual sport and off-road adventure. So if you are someone that's riding a dual sport or enduro bike, if you are someone that primarily uses your adventure bike off-road, that's who this is really aimed at. Pops reflective if you are on the street. You are gonna have vents, um, and the, some of the vents, like the ones here on the belly and the chest, are actually a dual vent slash pocket. Uh, once opened up, you can actually store things in there, but it is mesh back, so that is technically a vent bicep vent, and then a forearm vent as well. And the forearm vent kind of comes down in a diagonal, so when you're riding, it pushes air up and through, um, but it is going to be a waterproof zip. So when you are caught in a rainstorm, you can close that up and it will block the rain. Velcro at the cuff on this, you can kind of wrench it down as much as you want to. And Pat, that looks ridiculous, so I'm gonna zip that up so you look nice and handsome. Mr. McHugh, do me a favor, face backwards for me. You are gonna have exhaust vents, and if this gear looks a little bit dirty, it's because we've been riding it. We wanted to uh, really see exactly what the new Revit line was about, so we spent the past week, I'd say, putting it through its paces. So the hood on this is removable. I would not recommend using the hood while riding. It can snag on some sticks and some rocks. That's one of the small oversights that I have seen with this. I would make sure to take that hood off before riding in the woods. Now, if you're out in the desert or something like that, I could understand that you're not gonna be riding through underbrush the way that we are here on the East Coast. But then again, if you're out in the desert, probably not gonna rain and you probably don't need a waterproof hood. So this is a nice little addition if you get to where you're going and you wanna zip it back on to wear around the campsite. And if you need a place to stow it, you do have a rabbit pouch on the back of this jacket. Now, if it looks like Pat is wearing a back protector, he is, but it's not included in the Element jacket. In fact, the Element jacket does not include a pocket for a back protector. It does include armor at the elbows and the shoulders, but if you are looking for a back protector for this, you have to wear a standalone back protector. Now, Pat's not doing that. Pat is wearing the full armor Proteus rig from Revit. He's taken the armor out of the elbows and the shoulders of the jacket, and he's wearing it as a standalone full armor. And this is how I'd recommend wearing it for you. When I, when I think about the configuration for this, it seems like Revit is stuck a little bit between their adventure stuff, which comes with armor, and then moving over to a full off-road rig, which typically wouldn't come with armor. So I would love to see a future iteration of this where Revit just sells a shell, they lower that price down from 480 bucks, and you would wear it over top of a standalone rig. And frankly, that's how I'd recommend wearing it if you opt for the jacket right now. Take the armor that's in there, get rid of it, and wear this as a shell over your existing armor rig. Pat, face forward for me. And let's now move on to the jerseys. So Revit has introduced a few new jerseys in their line, starting with their very top of the line Sierra jersey coming in around the $170 price point, which is probably one of the most expensive jerseys on the market at the moment. And then you get down into the flow jersey, and this is really the one that we wanted to highlight, because this is really the one that's a, a solid mix of, of price as well as functionality. Now, the flow jersey is gonna come in around the $120 price point, which is still very pricey for a jersey, but with this one, you're getting massive four-way stretch, you're getting laser-cut vented vents throughout, 
And then you're gonna have a really nice slim design, clean blacked out lines with this. And again, massive amounts of stretch. Pat, go ahead and face backwards for me as we take a look at this. You're gonna see a little bit of a, of a dirt logo series down the back on this. And then Pat, you can go ahead and face forward. So as far as jerseys go, it's complex in its design and the fact that it's using sophisticated materials, a lot of four-way stretch, massive amounts of laser cut vents. But at the end of the day, it's a jersey, it's something that you wear over top of your rig. We like the fact that there's great airflow and maximum movement with this. But again, at $120 for the price point, it is on the expensive side of what folks in the dirt world are typically used to. Now, if you wanna take a step down from this, you could take a look at the Scrambler jersey. That's gonna have some stretch in the body, but not nearly as much stretch down through the arms. Our biggest complaint there is that there's no stretch around the collar. It's very hard to get the jersey on and off because they've actually sewn this Revit emblem almost collar around the entire collar of the jersey. Very hard to get on and off, not enough stretch in the arms. That's coming in around the $70 price point. That's more of, of typically what you would see for a, uh, for a jersey. But at that price point, it is competing against a lot of more stretchy and flowing jerseys within the entire dirt segment. So if you're looking at any of the jerseys within the Revit line, the flow is the best mix of comfort and stretch when we're looking at this again, just coming in around the $120 price point. So let's move on to taking a look at the gloves. So Pat is gonna be wearing the new Massive gloves. These are around the $55 price point. You're looking at a Clarino Palm. You are gonna have grippers at the index and the, uh, the middle finger. I like that. If situations are getting wet and slippery, you still get maximum grip on the levers as you're braking and shifting with the clutch. And then at the back, you are gonna have PW stretch with Again, TPR protection at the back of the hand. It's done in a very similar style to what we've seen with the Dirt 3, so you get protection, but it is maximum flexibility as well. So around the $55 price point, this is comparable to some of the more premium gloves that we're seeing in the Dirt world, and this is probably one of my favorite pieces within Revit's Dirt line. Now, let's move on to the pants. These are the Peninsula pants from Revit. They're coming in around the $300 price point, and these are gonna have some of the similar versions that we've seen with the Element jacket. Now, there is an in-the-boot version, which Pat is wearing right now, and there is an out-the-boot version. There is no difference in price, regardless of which option you go for. Both are coming in around that $300 price point. You're gonna have a combination of that PWR ripstop stretch, as well as 750D ripstop cordura with that, and you are gonna get some cowhide leather on the inside of the gripper pants. Panels. Again, the biggest complaint we had here is there's not enough stretch. You go to kick your leg out when you're going through a corner and you almost feel like the pants are kind of fighting against you. I would have loved to have seen a much stretchier design, especially with the inside. There is some stretch in there. It's just not enough um, when you are really moving around quite a bit on, a, on an off-road bike. But a good first offering from Revit, would love to see some of the changes. And again, at that $300 price point, um, it is on the pricier side of your options out there for dirt bike pants. And that's really the theme that we've seen with this dirt gear. There's a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of really great style to it, but it's coming in at a much higher price point than any of the existing dirt gear that's already on the market. So I think that's probably where Revit is going to struggle to be able to really break into this segment based on where their pricing is at. But there's a lot more within Revit's line that we haven't showcased in this video. Make sure you take some time to just browse everything that Revit has out and see if anything strikes you. But if you want more information on any of the pieces you've seen here, or on any of the gear within Revit's line, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. That will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting this gear through its paces. Or you can reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com and they can walk you through all the different options for dirt gear that's available to make sure you find the right gear for your riding style. I want to thank you for joining us for this overview of the new Revit Dirt lineup. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.